the wizardry of turbocharging. Found on just four production automobiles in the entire world, two are Buicks. The Buick Regal Sport Coupe and LeSabre Sport Coupe. Turbocharging endows these V6 engines with magic, so you get the power you want from the six cylinders you need. Turbocharging, from the only American car maker to offer it, Buick. So I thought I'd show you guys what I've been messing with in the garage here. It's like the first week of April and it's been like snowing and raining and like all this crazy weather. So I've just been here in the garage working on this motor here. This is a, uh, a 1978 uh, Buick 3.8 turbo motor. So this is actually the first year that they came out with them. This is like the grandfather to like the Grand Nationals and like the GNX and stuff. And it's carbureted. It's a draw through carburetor. So the turbo sits here, or the turbo draws air through the uh, carb. And then the fuel and the air, they go all together into the engine. There's a couple things this motor had uh, specific to it to make the carburetor work with the draw through turbo. You can't just put a normal carb on here. It has to be kind of set up for this. So I thought I'd go over some of these. Uh, I got the carb over here. I'm torn apart i've been cleaning it up and making the uh, necessary modifications so i didn't have the stock carburetor that came with this four barrel uh turbo adapter so i just got a regular uh 50 dollar craigslist quadra jet and i modified it just like the factory did uh, on the original one so uh, the main thing you want to do is uh you got your t jets here this one and this one these are your primary jets and just the hole and then these are your metering rods your primary metering rods and as you can see they uh they get skinnier as they go down so the deeper this thing goes into the jet the more it blocks the hole so this fits in here that sits in there like that and there's a spring in there that keeps this lifted up. But on the bottom of this hole, there's a port to vacuum. So at idle, the vacuum will pull this down so not much fuel comes out. And under heavier throttle, there'll be less vacuum and the spring will make these rise up and give it more fuel. So that's how the primary uh, metering circuit works. And then if you look at the bottom of this thing, this hole right here, this hole, I believe is the hole for the uh, for the power piston. This is where the vacuum source comes from. The uh, The bottom of the carb, this is upside down, the bottom of the carb is uh, exposed to engine vacuum. So it sucks through this port and it pulls that piston down. This is the uh, base plate. This is the very bottom of the carb when it's all put together. And this is that port. Here's that port right here that uh that goes to that power piston. It's exposed to engine vacuum. So on a normally aspirated motor, that works pretty good. On a turbo engine, when your turbo spools up, it can actually pull vacuum. So your uh it would it would think it's like idling because there'd be high vacuum and it would actually lean your carb out under boost, which would be awful. So uh, the factory modified that. Instead of having this hole go to the bottom of the carb to vacuum, it had it come out a port out the front of it. Now this wasn't made to do that, so I had to modify it. So what I did was I took some JB Weld and I filled all this in. You can see this here and all this is JB Welded up. I JB Welded the whole thing all the way up in here and everything. So once it was all JB Welded up, I drilled a hole in the front of it right there the hole didn't used to be there i drilled a hole there and then i drilled it all the way back to where this hole is and then i drilled this back out to meet it so now it does not come out the bottom it comes out the front right here so this is going to end up sitting so here's the base of the carb you know it'll be all put back together in one piece when i get done but so you can see it i got this new port i tapped it to a uh, eighth inch pipe thread Put this little nipple on here what you want to do is you want to attach that to boost so what i have here is i'm going to put a hose on it and i'm going to run it over to here 
And this here is a check valve. You don't want boost and pressure getting into your carb. So this check valve only flows this way. So it can, the engine can suck vacuum. But when you uh, give it gas and you start building boost, anything more than vacuum, it'll block off. And boost won't make its way back up in here. A uh, factory, it has some kind of special valve. It's like PEVR. I don't remember what it stands for. power enrichment valve something. I don't have one of those and a lot of the people that do have them, they're broke and nobody makes them anymore. So I just went with a check valve, that should work fine. So yeah, I modified the, uh, the power piston. So it's basically like a boost reference now. I got the check valve in here. That would be good. There's only uh, two other mods I had to make. If any of you guys are working on uh, quarter jets, there's a man named Cliff who owns a store called, I think, Cliff High Performance. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, he is like the king of quadra jets. Like he literally wrote a book on it. Uh, he knows his stuff. So I gave him a call to set this carb up properly. So now that this is done, uh, the only other mods I have to do is if we go back to this power piston here. I gotta drop this thing back in. So like I said, there's a spring that goes in here. But uh, Cliff sent me this, uh, this special spring. The stiffness of it is different than uh, most applications. So I got this spring, and that's the one that I wanna use with this uh, turbo setup. Okay, so I got my red spring in there, and that's really the only mod I gotta do to the uh, this main body here. And then the only other thing that's pretty different is these are my uh my secondary metering rods this is the top of the carb here and uh these are your secondaries this here just sits on top of this and your two metering rods kind of dangle from this thing so they end up hanging uh through the top and they end up sitting right in there and then when this flaps on the top open it pulls them up so uh the turbo application I think Cliff told me they're actually like the richest ones that they ever made. He put them in here in this foam thing because they're so thin he didn't want them to get damaged. But he had to take a, like a stock set and he machined them down for me. These things, look how, look how fine this point is on this thing. If you can see that. So uh, yeah, this is quite a bit richer and the taper's different too. But that's what how the turbo cars are supposed to be. It's not too hard. A uh, little JB weld on this, a check valve, a uh, different spring on this, and different metering rods. And uh, this thing should be uh, set up to run pretty good. So this motor is pretty cool. It's uh, This is the first year for the Buick uh, Turbo V6. You could get it with the two barrel or four barrel. This is the two barrel part. Um, I went ahead and upgraded to a four barrel. Pretty cool. I can actually run it here in the garage. Uh, I just got to dip this in a gas tank and uh, give some power to my distributor and uh, I can fire it up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this carburetor here. I'll show you guys more about this motor uh, in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll catch you guys next time.